Dear fifth grade me. 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 This is your eighth grade self. Hey, I didn't see you there. At the end of middle school, even through the bad things, I can assure you that we will pass through them. Now we are in a friend group which you like a lot and you will spend lunches laughing a lot. Now we are also in a relationship with a girl. If you do all the things right, you will have chances with her. Homework now is something concerning. Even though you didn't study all these middle school years, now you will start to. Basketball is a big thing now, but soccer is still a passion of ours. Hey fifth grade me, I'm the older version of you, now in eighth grade. A lot of stuff has changed over the years, especially now, since we're preparing for high school. Hi, fifth grade me. I'm you, but older, of course. You're probably wondering if we're, if we're living in the US, but we're not. Maybe in the future, though. And we still stress a little bit in eighth grade, but we have the nicest teachers and so much time. So don't worry. 2021 and 2022 are going to be the hardest years. Also, they're going to be hard. There's also positive aspects, like our art will be getting better. And also, try to spend most of your time with la abuela Susie and el tío Matías because you'll regret it later. Hello, Luca. If you're wondering who I am, I'm you, but older. After the pandemic, you will become smarter and stronger. In middle school, your life is going to have a drastic change. You will encounter many new friendships from people you've probably never seen before. You laugh, play, and help out each other. And so you can have a smooth transition to middle school, I advise you to be aware of your materials. The ones I chose gave me a lot of hassle, believe me. Also, be prepared for boredom. Middle school doesn't have the coolest classrooms in off the road and it will get you bored, so you need to get over with. And lastly, make sure to list your priorities. Homework is going to be a big thing now and you need to know when you have classes and where they are. So take care, I believe in you. So I do have to tell you the biggest change for you. So you did start 6th grade and 7th grade in Mexico, but you moved to Brazil after finishing 7th grade. This did change things, but you made it through and now have new friends. Now going back to the topic, I know it's hard for you having school in Zoom and not having social interaction with your friends, but it's going to be okay. When you finish 5th grade, I know you will be really nervous to start a new year, but I'm telling you that you will be just fine. I know you will be scared and not expecting what will happen, but you don't have to worry so much, I promise. You don't have to get the best grades or be in every party. Just enjoy that you're in sixth grade, because eighth grade is impossible. And if I'm saying that eighth grade is impossible, imagine ninth grade. We're finishing middle school, and it's the beginning of a great experience and you'll enjoy it. You are still riding, but not for the sport and not just for fun. And you have five incredible horses that you love them and you have incredible victories with them. We are heading out to ninth grade in some months and it doesn't seem so scary as it seemed before, even though you might get scared sometimes. You just need to trust the process and trust your parents' decision that it will end up everything fine. Just don't cut your hair or color it because it was the worst decision ever made. Besides that, it will end up everything fine and you'll be happy. I hope you can enjoy ninth grade and have lots of fun. I hope all of my grades improve for ninth grade. I hope I get in the art I like to for ninth grade. In ninth grade, I believe I will have a good experiences even though the big challenges. In ninth grade, I really want to handle balls better and get better grades. In ninth grade, I hope that I can improve my writing skills. I want to increase my effort levels so I can become a better student.